We've been talking a whole lot lately about that duel over derivatives, one of the complex investments that critics say led to the credit crisis and need tougher rules. But what does the industry have to say about it? Bloomberg's Chris Valerio in San Francisco at a conference held by the largest organization that represents the derivatives industry. Chris? That's right, Lori, and I'm actually joined by the CEO of uh, Tullet Prebon. He is um, Mr. Paul Humphrey, and we want to talk a little bit about what's happening today. So the first thing I have to ask you is, yesterday, uh, the Treasury, the Deputy Treasury Secretary coming out with some pretty strong words for the industry, saying, you guys aren't doing enough for transparency and standardization. What do you think about his comments? I understand his concerns, Chris, but there are, I'm worried that there may be unintended consequences of heavy-handed regulations. I think the derivative markets have proved to be robust. I think there are changes we need, we need to make, and as an industry, we're looking into those right now to make those relevant changes. Specifically, what the Treasury is looking at doing is kind of regulating and deciding which swaps need to be regulated where, and that essentially is leading to more exchanges uh, versus the dealers actually helping with the pricing. So. There's a very fine line there. Do you think that there will, will be consensus on that? And I think certainly I, I don't believe that there should be mandate into exchanges. That's the first point. I don't believe that helps the. Um, I don't believe that will help the uh, derivative industry. And I think the problem is also where you define standardisation. Standardisation really is you're talking about liquid issues when you come to um, derivative contracts because actually the underlying contracts are all standard. However, there's different liquidity issues in those various um, various contracts. But isn't part of the reason for this is transparency? I mean, isn't there isn't that part of the reason that we're tr they're trying to get this in well, the intraday? Certainly, on, on transparency issues, we really have to. We're really talking about putting our, our trade uh, trade information into a repository where one has to go and look for that information. And certainly, pre-trade, time of trade, um, we should separate. Uh, those issues going forward. One of the questions I have to ask you is because obviously we're talking a lot about what happened with Goldman Sachs, the issues with Goldman Sachs and the CEO market. When those kinds of things come out, how do you feel that it is setting back um, the changes that the derivatives market uh, is trying to do right well, now? Well, unfortunately, you know, derivatives have got themselves a bad name over the last couple of years. And of course, everyone in the street is aware, of, the public are uh, now aware of derivative contracts. However, actually, there is an awful lot of integrity in the market already. I believe that the, um, uh, the IST DA is looking into relevant reforms that we can make in our industry to make it better. But do you think that there will be a drop in the volume and in the way that people are handling these transactions? Well, certainly at the moment there's uncertainty surrounding the market, and any uncertainty will mean that there's, there's drops in volumes right now. But they are very, very useful instruments that, that have the ability to handle bespoke hedging. Um, and if we take away that ability to put on a bespoke hedge mm -hmm. to the marketplace, we only add to systemic risk. Mr. Paul Humphrey, CEO of Tullet Prevon, thank you so much. Thank you very much.